Hi everyone, how's life and welcome to another one of my videos. Today we're in Disneyland Paris in front of Casey's Corner just behind me and a couple of weeks ago Casey's Corner had a change of menu. There's now uh, four different new options for hot dogs including a vegan one which is exciting. So we're going to go inside the restaurant and check out some of the new hot dogs and see what they're like. Now Casey's Corner is a classic Disney restaurant. They have them in quite a few of the Disney parks worldwide, including the Magic Kingdom in Florida. And basically it only serves hot dogs more or less. And they do sometimes have chicken nuggets to go with it, but it's a hot dog place. It's known for its hot dogs and a lot of Disney fans enjoy getting their hot dogs from there. And I think the location helps as well. Because as you can see, Casey's Corner is located right at the top of Main Street USA. So when you enter the park through there, you come to the end of Main Street and on the left, you're going to be able to see Casey's Corner. And that's basically its location in all the Disney parks as well, definitely in Magic Kingdom in Florida at least. It's a baseball themed restaurant so you can see these uh, figurines of people playing baseball around it and then this is the new menu so I'm actually really looking forward to trying one of the hot dogs myself. I'm here with my friend who is vegan, she's going to try the uh, vegan friendly hot dog and I'll try one of the new options from the menu as well. It is worth noting that all the meat hot dogs in this restaurant at Casey's are all made from beef I believe, so not pork which I actually really like because I don't generally eat pork often. I have it from time to time but I definitely prefer beef. If I have the choice I definitely always will go for beef rather than pork so yeah, bear that in mind. It's also worth noting that this is one of the quick service places in Disneyland Paris that doesn't actually offer menus so a lot of the quick services here have actual menus so you can get a drink, a dessert and a main course whereas Casey's Corner basically because of that fact the prices might be a little bit steeper. Uh, you can see 10 euros for just one hot dog and if you want some fries you're gonna have to pay extra for it. Same with if you want a drink or a dessert but there you go these are the options that they have now so this is the hot dog uh, vegetal uh, basically it's the veggie hot dog plant-based hot dog with veggie chili and sausage then we've got the nachos hot dog this is gonna be probably the one I go for because it just it, it seems interesting to be having nachos in a hot dog it comes with barbecue sauce though which I'm not the biggest fan of but I'm gonna try it because I'm just curious to see what it's all gonna taste like together and then this one here is a hot dog with cheddar sauce bacon crispy onion ketchup and American mustard I don't really like ketchup too much but also I've already tried the hot dog with cheddar before like before this new menu change they did have something similar to it the only thing that was missing from it was bacon which I don't even like that much so I'm not going to try that one and then the first one is obviously the hot dog classic the more basic one which is just a hot dog with ketchup and American mustard and we've also got a new dessert which is this baseball which is really cool and it's four euros and I'm really curious to try this as well this is my friend Izzy by the way who's going to be joining me for this little dining review and yeah let's go in and see what the food's like right so this is the entrance of Casey's Corner. Um, bonjour, comment ça va? Merci, merci beaucoup. Bonjour. Alors, le veggie hot dog, s'il vous plaît. Oui. Bonjour, vous voulez dire bonjour? Hello. <laughs> um, veggie hot dog. Um, et le hot dog avec les nachos, celui-ci. Oui. Um, après, deux frites, s'il vous plaît. Deux frites. Et deux bouteilles d'eau. Deux bouteilles d'eau. Et aussi, um, La dessert, le dessert, le celui-ci. Ah, oh, vous avez... Ça, s'il vous plaît. Une balle? Le balle, la balle, oui, merci. <rire> une, 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 malheureusement, merci. C'est tout? Oui, c'est tout. J'ai un passe annuel. <rire> merci. Merci Vous avez vu, je vous ai même fait amitié. Mais... Avec oh, la balle de baseball. Trop chou, merci. <rire> So we've got our food, we have positioned ourselves just outside Casey's Corner, they do have a little terrace area at Casey's, the seating areas inside Casey's are actually quite limited, so they closed it off and today's quite a busy day so even the outside area as you can see is full which is why my friend Izzy, <laughs> it's not even, she has got, got a chair, she's sitting on the little area just there, but she's, she's fine, you know, enjoying life, she was the one who was like, yeah she's got nice flowers behind her, she was the one who insisted, I was like, I can go and get you a chair, I'm sure there's going to be somebody who's, you know, not using an extra chair, and she was like, no, I'm fine here. It's weird for me, though, because I'm looking at her, and she's much shorter than me, and normally she's a lot taller than me. There you go, so this is my view, and then this is Izzy. <laughs> Little Izzy. <laughs> anyway, so we've got the food, we've got uh, two chips, by the way, big shout out to the cast members working there. Um, two chips, two bottles of water, and they're very cute, they've got the 30th anniversary logo on them as well, which is cute. I did decide to uh, try the dessert as well, this was four euros, in case you're wondering. So I'm going to have that afterwards and then we've got our sausages so I think the first one let me just double check let's open them to see what they're like yeah I think this one's obviously the non uh, veggie one which is uh, has got barbecue sauce on it some nachos and obviously a regular um, hot dog sausage inside and then this one Izzy would you like to open it let's have a look 
Oh, this is nice. So the, the vegetarian one, the vegan one, comes with a plant-based sausage, as uh, I showed you earlier on the menu, and then some, some chili on it, on this nice little bread. Looks cute. I've never really had a hot dog, honestly, so I don't really know oh, how you <laughs> So, I am going to try this lovely new nachos barbecue um, hot dog now. I'm intrigued. I hope I like it. Like I said, I'm not the biggest fan of barbecue sauce, but maybe it's going to taste nice. Who knows? We're going to have to see. Also, yeah, we've got the fries as well and loads of mayonnaise. There you go. Let's uh, give this a try. I feel like this is going to be very messy. Lord have mercy. Ooh. This side seems to be mainly sauce, so I'm going to try it from the other side. Yeah, it's good. Very sweet, obviously, because of the barbecue sauce, and that's one of the reasons I'm not the biggest fan of barbecue sauce, because it's so sweet. But the nachos do give it a nice crunch, and the sausage, of course, is nice. The bread is good. Yeah, it's, it's good. It's not something that I would get myself personally again, probably. I do like Casey's, but I think I just prefer the basic hot dogs generally without ketchup because I don't like ketchup. Just normal hot dog with must mustard and um, they have the one with the cheese as well. Maybe that would be more to my taste, but this is nice. This is nice. And if you love barbecue sauce, you're really going to enjoy this actually. Here's a closer look at the hot dog. I've basically eaten half of it so far. And I forgot to mention there's also some like maybe caramelized onions, like a puree caramelized onion situation under all the barbecue sauce. So that's why the hot dog as a whole just feels very very sweet because not only are there, is, um, is it barbecue sauce but also some caramelized onions it is nice though like i said the nachos are very well needed for it because otherwise it would just feel very moist and so the nachos definitely give it a nice texture as you bite into it so we've just both finished our hot dog also by the way in case you're wondering why we've <laughs> moved we're in a different location we're currently in the liberty arcade it started raining uh, just after i filmed that last clip so we ran uh, to discovery not sorry liberty arcade which is one of the convenient things about this vampire is actually these arcades that they have. They've got one here, Liberty Arcade, and the Discovery Arcade on the other side. It's so good because whenever it rains or snows or the weather's bad, you can just come and take shelter here. They've got tables here to eat food as well. But yeah, my hot dog was good. I enjoyed it. Um, I feel like, like I said, if you like barbecue sauce, you are really going to enjoy it. Even as somebody who's not the biggest fan of the barbecue sauce um, taste, I still enjoyed it. Um, if I come here again, which I will because I do like Casey's, I will probably get the one with the cheese. So I think it's the second one on the menu. And then, yeah, there's the crispy onions and then maybe just ask them to not put any ketchup and maybe also no bacon. So <laughs> I don't know. Before this new change of menu, because <laughs> he's just laughing here. Before the new change of menu, um, they had an option uh, on the menu, which was just uh, uh, basically hot dog cheese and crispy onions with no bacon and this bacon thing with ketchup has just like thrown me off but anyway I'm gonna try the new hot dog anyway and like I said it was good it was very filling and I enjoyed it Izzy how was your uh, chili plant-based hot dog yeah it was good it was tasty filling yeah. how was the chili was it nice yeah it was all right it was a bit salty for me but oh, really? yeah but it, it was good it was tasty um, and they beans, put like a yeah. izzy notice they put this thing on the box so if you're ordering loads of hot dogs you should know which one is hopefully yeah. the vegan one it is now time for me to try this new baseball dessert it's cute how they've got this little chocolate with uh, casey's corner on the top it's nice quite instagrammable four euros though not too big but hopefully it will taste nice. I think it says something like salted caramel. So we shall see what's inside it. So conveniently they do give you cutlery for the dessert. Nice little spoon. And then this is the dessert again. I am gonna open it. Here's a better look at uh, this baseball dessert. I am really intrigued about it. I'm glad they've added this to the menu because prior to this, they didn't have any special food or desserts um, uh, in at Casey's. It was only just like magnums and whatnot. I've already kind of gone into it, but let's go. Let's see what it's like. Oh, look at that. Lord have mercy. I feel like caramel is just drizzling out of it. This is interesting. This is cute. Let's see if it tastes cute as well. So far, it tastes like nothing. <laughs> so yeah, maybe it's because I don't, I didn't get enough caramel in there. I don't know because the white fluffiness genuinely does not taste of anything, <laughs> which is a bit disappointing. So let's try it a bit with um, some caramel sauce and see what that's like. It's better. I can definitely taste the um, salt and caramel a bit with this one, but still nothing too strong some people might like this though because um you know some people might like prefer um slightly milder taste when it comes to desserts i like my my desserts and my food to taste strong of whatever they're meant to taste but this is very very mild it's just a lot of fluffiness fluffy white 
I don't even know what it is. It's not icing. I don't know. I'm not sure. With some caramel inside. It does look really cool though. I'll give it that. But yeah, I wouldn't say it's my favorite dessert. Here's a closer look at the dessert. As you can see, most of the caramel sauce is at the bottom. And then the rest is just um, this white texture, which I can't really figure out what it is. Like I said, it, it's not bad. It's like it actually feels nice when you you know bite into it. It just doesn't really taste of too much. Um, I still got the little chocolate though as well. The Casey's Corner chocolate, so I'm gonna eat that now. So there you go. That's the Casey's Corner little chocolate. I feel like it's just gonna be white chocolate. It's got a bit messy now. It's got some caramel sauce on it. Let's give it a taste test. Is it weird if I say that little chocolate label had more taste to it than the whole dessert? <laughs> right, we finished up lunch, but before we leave, I met the lovely. Georgia? Yes. And Pete. 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 <laughs> That's the one. Really lovely people and I love that. I love, I love your ears. And how cool are her ears? You got them today? Yes, yes, yeah, from Emporium. Emporium. Whoa! So you didn't have to queue up for the anniversary shop. <laughs> Lord have mercy, new info, thanks for these lovely subscribers. <laughs> Anyway, lovely to meet you both. Lovely. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. That was so lovely. And Georgia and Pete, if you're watching this video, thank you again for saying hi. Also, I want to give a big shout out to a lovely family from Northern Ireland as well that I met earlier whilst I was eating. It was really lovely to meet you as well. It was quite a big family, so I'm sorry that I don't remember your names, but I really enjoyed meeting you all. And thank you for saying hi as well. But here we are outside Casey's Corner again. And as you can see, the skies are quite grey. Thankfully, it stopped raining, but uh, I feel like it might rain again probably soon. So it's good that we have finished our food. Anyway, I enjoyed my meal at Casey's today. I'm very full. There was a lot of food. The dessert, not the best. I'm definitely not going to get that one again, but the hot dog itself was good. Um, but like I said, next time I'll probably just go for the standard one or the one with the cheese. Um, Pete, actually, that you saw in the video that I met earlier, he said he bought, he tried the one with the, with, the, with cheese and onions and bacon, and he said that one was really good. So maybe I'm going to try that in a future video. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. I'm really glad that there's a vegetarian slash vegan option here now. Now at KC's, um, Disneyland Paris is definitely moving forward with more veggie options for lovely guests here. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. How are you? Hi. How are you? Well, that was really lovely. I met another one of you just here, um, Spanish-speaking people, and that was very cute. So thank you so much again if you're watching for saying hi. But yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of Casey's Corner. Do you like this new menu? Which one of the hot dogs would you try if you come to Disneyland Paris? I'd be very curious to know. And if you're vegetarian or vegan, I hope you like the review. I hope it's something that you can maybe have on your next visit here. And yeah, make sure to follow me on Instagram and subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to my friend Izzy as well for being in the video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.